Hello, welcome back to the Quinton Group.tv. Yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. And I want to just talk to you because I just left a, um, an appointment with one of our sellers, um, which we received multiple offers on their property. Now, the situation is this. Basically, uh, been on the market for about two weeks. Um, probably got, I'd say, seven or eight different showings. And we received an offer over the weekend, another offer over the weekend. We met an appointment with the seller, met with the seller to present both offers on the property. Um, they obviously, both of them are offers and they're lower than the list price, but we wanted to work a strategy on what is the best way to get the seller the highest and best price. So, and again, this circumstance, we're not working with the buyers. Both offers came in with outside brokers uh, and agents. So ultimately, um, three things the seller has as an option. Number one is a seller can say, thank you, but no thank you to both offers and ultimately never know really uh, if any buyer, how much the buyer is willing to come up. Um, secondly is the seller can counter offer both offers. Um, or thirdly, the seller could accept one of them. So, you know, in this instance, what we recommended, and the seller was looking for a lot of our suggestions along the way, was to know, okay, how do we do this the right way where we don't lose both buyers? We don't scare them off, but yet generate and maximize the highest price possible. You know, in a multiple situation, initially the sellers were like, nah, we don't want to accept either one of them. And uh, let's, you know, we're getting another showing this week. It's coming up on, on another day, like two days from now. And basically they start saying, well, okay, this isn't going to work. And they're just going to say, no, thanks for no thanks. The other part was, you know, they didn't want to, uh, what, what would happen if they counter offer back and one person accepts it? What about the other one? Or could they counter back each offer separately, differently? So what we explained is in our um, experience is that once you start messing around and jockeying with different offers by making a counter offer on one and making a counter offer on the other and changing them up, you can get in a situation where you end up losing both buyers because both buyers get a feeling that they're being shopped around and basically both buyers at that point don't want to get involved in a bidding war. So ultimately you could lose both of them. So here's what we suggested. We suggested that they make a counter offer to both offers, or excuse me, both buyers that came in. So a counter offer is going back to both of them. And then we're going to tell that buyer that we're making a counter offer of X and also we're asking for the highest and best terms, price, and condition by tomorrow at five o'clock. Now what this is gonna do is let this buyer know that look, the seller's willing to work with them by making a counter offer, but yet going back to both buyers, buyer A and buyer B, and asking for the highest and best offer from both of them. And then by five o'clock tomorrow, this seller's prepared to sign off on one of them if it's agreeable and acceptable. So that's what we're gonna do. Going back to both of them right now, giving a counter offer, a very, very good counter offer to show that they're willing to work and they're negotiable and they're flexible. And yet asking and requesting from this buyer, highest and best tomorrow by five o'clock, then the seller will choose and pick one. Now, what's gonna happen is hopefully the buyers come up seller uh, one of the deals is acceptable seller signs off tomorrow the deal's done it's over no more offers no more showings it's a done deal um, which is the way it's going to work or buyer could come up and the buyers whatever they offer maybe it's not enough and it's still not acceptable and it sits on the market so we'll wait and see this is our strategy to get the, the sellers the highest and best offer so um, in the event you have any questions if you're thinking about getting your home on the market if it's already on the market you need any help um, uh, understanding what we're doing to get a property sold give us a call 609-398-5333. And as always, we look forward to our conversation being the best of your day. Thanks for watching.